A couple of months ago, I made a video where we theory crafted the objectively worst level possible in Super Mario Maker. This video began like that. I don't believe it is possible to ever find a definitive answer what the very best Mario Maker level ever made is. So, as it turns out, I lied to you there, while I still don't think it's possible to answer the question what the best level for each person individually is, I believe I found a way to determine the level that the sum of all players together judge to be the best one. So you ready? Let's do this! So how are we ever going to determine the objectively best level ever made? Well, the idea is the following. Every player enjoys a different type of level and there is obviously no definitive answer what the best level for each individual person is. But we should be able to determine which level is the level that the sum of all players like the most. Luckily Mario Maker itself has a like system. The stars that people are able to hand out when playing a level. Sadly, we can't just take a look at the star leaderboard, find the level with the most stars and call it the best level, because that's no suitable metric for a cause. The problem is that this metric completely ignores how many people played the stage. A level with 10,000 plays and 2,000 stars got starred by 20% of the people that played it. A stage with 10,000 stars but 100,000 plays only got starred by 10% of the players. But even though the level with 10,000 plays got starred twice as often, the other stage has 5 times more stars. So that's why we can't only look at the quantity of stars, but rather need to focus on the percentage of players that star a level. But how are we going to find out which level is the level that got the highest star per visit ratio? Well, all we have to do is to visit the Nintendo bookmarking page and sort the stages by stars per player. Here we have it. This is the level that got the most stars per visit and therefore is the best rated stage out of all Mario Maker levels. Hooray! I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you enjoyed yeah, it's obviously not that simple. The problem with the metric that the bookmarking page shows is that it includes all levels that got more than 10 plays. While I'm sure that all of these stages are fantastic, the amount of plays is way too low to allow for any meaningful conclusions. If a level with 10 plays got 10 stars, then it got a star to play ratio of 100%. But if only one more person plays this level and decides to not give it a star, then the star to play ratio would suddenly drop drastically. It makes absolutely no sense to analyze stages with this few plays if we really try to find out what the best level ever made is. While it's really cool that the bookmarking page outputs this metric, it's sadly useless for a cause. We need to only take a look at stages that got a lot of plays and a lot of stars. We need to do our own calculations. But if we want to do our own calculations, then we need data. Tons of data. We would need a gigantic database of Mario Maker stages that we could scan for information. Sadly, Nintendo doesn't provide such a database. All that we have to work with is the information on the bookmarking page. So, how much data are we actually able to extract out of the bookmarking page? If we take a random search query, like most stars, then a bookmarking page outputs a page containing 10 stages. We can get another 10 results by loading a new page and another 10 stages and so on, until page 100. Then the bookmarking page stops to give us information about the levels stored on the Mario Maker servers. So that's 10 pages per site, multiplied by 100 pages. This way we can collect the data of 1000 stages. In this case the data of the 1000 most start stages in descending order. That's a decent sample size of stages, but still not enough to extract any meaningful information about which level ever made is the best one. We would need more data, way more data. So here's the thing, these 1000 levels are just the result of a single search query, but there are way more searches possible that we theoretically could combine. I know that probably sounds a little bit strange, but stay with me for a moment, it will make sense in a second. Hopefully. So we're able to output 1000 results for the most start stages, but we're also able to output 1000 results for the most start levels in each game style, since there are 4 game styles that suddenly outputs 
4000 levels. But we are also able to filter by the most start level in each game style made in the overworld theme or the underworld theme or the castle or whatever. This allows us to see six times as many levels as before on the bookmarking page, 24,000 to be precise. But we're still not done here because we can permutate all those 24,000 search queries once again for each of the four regions and once again for each difficulty assigned to the levels. This allows us to take a look at the 384,000 most start levels on the Mario Maker servers. That's a data set we can work with. Hooray! There's only a single problem left. We need to get all those 384,000 levels into a database. So first I thought about simply creating a new database and transferring the data by hand. But I quickly dismissed this idea for a single reason. Assuming that it takes me about 10 seconds to transfer a single stage into a database, that's a really generous assumption by the way, then it would take me a total of 44 days of just transferring data out of the bookmarking page into a database. That's assuming I make it through those 44 days without sleeping or eating once, which I find highly unlikely. At that point we are facing a dilemma. Transferring the data takes an amount of time that is rather unreasonable. But not transferring the data is obviously no option either, since then we wouldn't be able to ever find out which Mario Maker level is the best Mario Maker level ever made. So at first glance this looked like a pretty big dilemma, but as it turns out it's surprisingly simple to solve. We can just automate the whole process. Huge, gigantic and enormous thank you to my very techy friend Techio, who was kind enough to take the time to write a not so little script that automatically transfers all the amazing level data we ever need out of the HTML and into a format we can work with. This little script was running over the last couple of days and now, now we finally have a database to mess around with. A database that contains over 300,000 of the most start levels in Mario Maker, complete with all information the bookmarking page provides. In case anyone is wondering why this operation took several days, we decided to implement a pretty long delay in between each page request so that we don't generate more traffic than a normal user would to not overstrain Nintendo's very fragile servers. So with this data we can do a lot of fun things, like finally find out which level killed Mario the most. It's Super Meat Bros with over 14 million deaths or we can find out which level that was tagged as thumbnail got the most stars. It's this level that features a beautiful drawing of everyone's favorite squid girl. Squid Girl. We will definitely do a lot of such data shenanigans in the near future, but that's not what we're here for today. We are here to finally find out which level that got a reasonable amount of plays is the most starred one per visit. The one level. The level that the sum of all players judge to be the best one. We're only going to take a look at levels that have over 20,000 plays. We can set this number as high or as low as we want to. The lower we set it, the more statistical outliers we're going to get, but the bigger our sample size. 20,000 is a decent compromise. Levels with over 20,000 plays are super popular stages. So what we're looking for now is the most popular level among the most popular levels. The one level. Let's take a look at the top 3. On 3rd place, with over 26,000 plays and over 5,000 stars and a star per player ratio of incredible 21.9% is the Lunar Tower by Sam. This stage is built around a really interesting concept. Our plumber has to platform his way up this tower. Each floor of the tower contains a new challenge and stuff becomes pretty tricky fast. But failure isn't lethal here, since the whole stage uses non-ouching but bouncing obstacles to make Mario's life harder. The level creates an awesome feeling of verticality while being challenging and forgiving at the same time. And the number rated floors create a great feeling of progression. No one wants to quit the level on the 7th floor. It's a fantastic stage and I understand why this level is among the 3 most popular levels ever made. So the second best rated stage is Viewing the Picture by Antho63. This amazing stage managed to get over 4000 stars out of over 20,000 plays. That's a star to play ratio of unbelievable 22.6%. And to be honest, I absolutely agree with the almost 5000 people that start this stage. The stage is brilliant. It's a level where Mario has to take a look at several pictures that give him hints on where to find keys in order to proceed. While this may not sound too interesting at first glance, 
us, it soon becomes, because the stage permanently subverts our expectations on where to find the key and becomes really meta and really brilliant towards the end. That one really surprised me and I'd love for Nintendo to actually take some inspiration from this level when they design the ghost houses for the next 2D Mario game. It's just so much better done than most of the ghost houses Nintendo put together over the years. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, it's time to finally take a look at the best Mario Maker level ever made according to our metric. After tons of theory crafting, preparation, sweat and tears, after days of scripting and tons of unhandled exceptions, this is the moment we're finally able to take a look at the objectively best level ever made. It's called by Macaron. Oh. Over 30,000 people played this legendary stage and 24.19% of those players left the level a star. Here it is. Um. Um. Really? Like, seriously? The one level, out of all levels with the most stars that has the highest star per visit ratio, is a level where Mario becomes entrapped between 100 bumpers and then has to randomly bump his way towards the end? Like, really? That has been the trick to creating the best stage all along? Bumpers are the answer? Well, I guess bumpers are the answer. Statistic never lies. I'm not kidding, by the way. That's literally the most popular stage. So I'm um, either I just don't get the level or we just officially found the limits of statistics. So um, here we have it. The objectively best Mario Maker level ever made. We're definitely going to dig deeper into our data in the near future in order to find even more nonsense. I hope all of you enjoyed this little video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and maybe feel especially like bumpers are the answer and want to hit the subscribe button as well. I hope that all of you have a wonderful day and to see you soon. Goodbye!